going on everybody this is jacob viral uh, today's video i have a little topic i'm curious of is what's the difference between bluetooth and a usb um so is there any kind of different output between the two so i don't really know i've never tested um i'm not sure if i have anything the exact same between my ipod where i use bluetooth and my usb but what i'm going to be doing today is using my meter with a test tone frequency to see what's the difference on the two. And uh, maybe you guys can give some feedback on this. So say what y'all did and if y'all notice a difference between your Bluetooth and your USB, because this test is probably not gonna be the most accurate, but just to see kind of a visual for me to say, hey, this is a good discussion. People can say in the comment section for this video to give some recognition and uh, suggestions on USB versus Bluetooth. So I would love to see some of you guys comment and let us know what y'all see out of the two. So try it out on your own. Uh, maybe if you could do a couple of songs on USB and a couple of songs on your Bluetooth and compare the difference. But for this video, I'm just mainly going to focus on a test tone and kind of identify the difference. Um, I'm sure I can probably dig down into more in-depth videos on this. If you guys want, just let me know as well. Um, but this is a really curious one. Uh, I had a couple of different people in the past couple of years on and off comment say, Hey, Jacob, why wouldn't you use Bluetooth or USB instead of Bluetooth? Because everything I've done with all of my systems has always been on this iPod. Bluetooth wise, I've never really used USB. I use USB for demoing and shuffle, um, random shuffle for video, not video, but um, for demoing and just casual music because I like it. But whenever I need to look for a specific song, it's so hard to do on a USB while on the Bluetooth device, I'm able to. Anyway, let's go ahead and get started. Um, just want to say beforehand, if there's any new viewers that uh, my system in my truck's probably not going to be the prettiest. You guys can talk about it, but I like to do a lot of tests on my channel. So welcome. If any of you guys are new, keep my volume at 20, get my meter up and on. All right, it's an SSA Studio app meter on my phone. We'll see how this does. So this might not be a good test or result because I do have a 40 hertz test tone. I use the tune my DD1 at minus five dBs on this. And then I have a 40 hertz test tone on this, but I don't know the difference between the two um, decibel wise. So, but I'm about to find that out. All right, so let me go ahead and turn on my Bluetooth and we'll figure this out. But yeah, this video is more to see the comment section than it is for me to make a video to prove anything because I'm telling you this is probably not gonna be the most accurate being that this is, um, nothing's really planned when it comes to what's the exact music difference because I'm just really curious, does the USB actually give you different output than the, the um, you know, doing your Bluetooth on your whatever your phone, your iPod, whatever device you have, your Droid, etc. So let's go ahead and get started. This is going to be a pretty interesting one. So what I'm going to do first is let's go ahead and put in my USB. So I got my USB little thing here. I'll connect it real quick. Make sure it's hooked up. All right. USB's in. I'll do USB first. Oops, excuse me. So let's go to my devices, USB one. All right. Okay. Let it load. Um, just once again, I really appreciate you guys always watching, um, liking my videos always as well. I'm not the best at this in cardio world, but I like to do videos and this is my second channel. So if you guys are watching, I hope you guys enjoy. Um, it's all a hobby and fun, so nothing's supposed to be perfect on my end. So just for fun, maybe I'll teach a thing or two to people. All right, so I'm going to go to DD1 tuning. I have a 40 hertz minus five here. So that's what I'm going to be using for this. And it's going to be at volume. Whoops, it's going to be at volume 40. So what I'll do, is make sure my front and rear is off just so it doesn't take any draw. My amp, let me go ahead and turn my knob all the way down all right put this to 40 or not 40 20 sorry so much stuff thinking about at the same time all right so what i'm going to do is i have my bass knob i'm going to roll into it at 20 volume i do i don't never do full tilt tests so we'll see what it's doing let me go ahead and restart it all right
Okay then. So I guess only 110. So that shows that that 40 decibel minus five is very different from my uh, Bluetooth one. That's for sure. Cause I've been doing everything testing on my Bluetooth with uh, the 40 hertz, 50 hertz, whatever, etc. My tones on here are zero dB. So the one I just tested was minus five dB. This is zero dB I'm about to do a test on. So this is probably gonna go up. If it's true, five decibels, but I don't know. But the concept of this video is probably not the best, but this is for you guys to give some input and say, hey, Jacob Viral, this is what I do. This is the test I've already done. Is it true that Bluetooth is actually better than USB? And I could do some follow-up videos on this as well with a little bit better planning and maybe some uh, different test tones to kind of trial and error it. Just let me know if y'all want to do that as well. All right, so I got my 40 hertz iPods connected. Jacob's iPod, yep, on my 20 volume. Okay, let's see what it does. All right, so that does show you that that 40 hertz, uh, that was a 40 hertz on my on my USB, and then this was a 40 hertz on my iPod. So it was right at a 5 dB difference, so like 5.1 dB difference between the Bluetooth and the, um, it was like, not the uh, Bluetooth and the USB. So that does doesn't show me anything, to be honest, because my USB is 0 dB, so it does show me that my decibel range didn't really change, to be honest because I went up 5.1 decibels going Bluetooth, and that makes sense. You have minus five dB and then zero dB. So I literally gained nothing, maybe a 10th um, going Bluetooth, but that doesn't prove anything because it's not the exact tone. You have different tones depending on what, you know, um, decibel level you are. So the best test would probably be, hey, get a song or get a tone at zero dB on a USB and test that as well. So, but that definitely didn't, sh that definitely, this video just showed me that it doesn't really make a big difference going Bluetooth to USB just because I didn't gain any decibels between Bluetooth and USB. I mean, maybe a tenth, not even a tenth. Um, and of course the variables can change depending on what frequency you're testing and what vehicle you have, how your voltage changed from the first test initially, stuff like that. All right. So. Uh, let's just do one more before I end this video. I just want to say if you uh, guys have any suggestions on how to test this a little better, I need to know in the comments because I've never done this before. I just get a lot of requests on this, and this is a video I had in my notes for a while. I finally made a video on. So testing USB. So let me do one more test, 40 hertz, and then I'll go to 0 dB just to confirm. Okay, so, excuse me, a little over 115 dB. So now let's go ahead and reset and go to the USB one more time, just out of curiosity. And then just so we can confirm the numbers. So let's just assume that my next one is going to be minus 5 or whatever this is. All right. so I gotta fix this so I was at 20 so I'm volume 20 it went up when I went 21 it shows you how much click one click on your head unit affects output that much did you see that a whole DB I gained from one click so I'm telling you this is nothing you can learn in this video if you're still watching where your head unit volume setting is every click can go up a DB or two or a quarter DB half a DB so where you set your tuning at so like I set my my head unit goes to 62 but I tuned to 6 uh, 55 so I know I still have seven clicks to to go over clipping range so I know that I'm not going to max out my head unit to get to clipping just so I know my limits beforehand anyway that's another video so volume 20 let's test it out real quick All right, and that's the video. 
So minimal, no difference. No difference between DB, uh, USB, and Bluetooth. Maybe a tenth. Nothing really noticed. And this is just not even, this is probably real world test. The only difference is you got to add 5 dB to this because I had a minus 5 dB for the head unit. And then it was 115.1 for the Bluetooth device. So no change between the two. Of course, I need to do tests in real world with full tilt. Uh, maybe some music. Try the same song on USB and Bluetooth. So that could be a video to come maybe. If you got any suggestions, be sure to comment. Let me know. Thanks for watching, everybody. Hope you all learned something.